Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And here we are after coming off our first Big Ten win, going up against Penn State next. Saquon Barkley is going to be a problem for us. But let's look at the Heisman watch really quick. Lamar Jackson is now number one, the reigning uh, Heisman Trophy winner. Bo Scarborough is right behind him. Baker Mayfield. Uh, Blumrick, this doesn't make any sense yet. He's not even playing, but and then Mark Walton's uh, last in this race. So looks like it's shaping up to be another Lamar Jackson Heisman. We'll have to see though. It looks like uh, Bama is fresh off a win, 41 to seven, and Lamar Jackson's got that win versus FIU. So Raekwon Jones actually had a big game for us last week, uh, four tackles, but he was he was just in on every single tackle in on every pile so let's just give him some gear here so uh he is a linebacker uh let's just let's just give him a nice helmet here uh let's make him look like a bulldog let's see this one i am for d i kind of like the full cage here let's make him look kind of scary here so he does have a visor right now uh let me see what other visors he has should we give him a dark nike and maybe we give him a dark nike here so looking pretty good there so he's got these little wristbands here let's actually let's actually take these off here let's take these two wristbands off and let's give him let's give him on his elbow let's give him some big elbow pads here make him look official here Let's get it on one arm. Let's give him the right arm here. Uh, after giving him a couple knee braces, the elbow pad, uh, the dark visor, the new helmet, here's what he's going to look like. He looks like a monster out there. He, he's, he looks really, really big. I don't know how big he is. I think he's 6'2". Let me just look at this. 6'2", 230. So he's a pretty scary looking dude out there with all this gear on now. So let's just look at our recruiting board really, really quick. So looking at our recruiting board, as you can see, Bill Ray is still number one guy, but we are 1,200 points behind Michigan State. It looks like he's about ready to commit to them. He does have a visit for them in week 14, so maybe I can make up some ground here. So we did add Marcus Rutledge as well to the board. We're, we're already the top school, as you can see. Nobody else is really going after him, so this might be our number one prospect when it's all said and done. As long as we can keep this up, he's got that 89 man coverage, 85 play wreck, 90 speed, 93 acceleration. So he's going to be a big addition if we can get him to our defense. I also added late Joe Richards. So he's a tight end out of Minnesota. Uh, pretty good. I mean, he's a four star tight end, number four in the nation at his position. And we have enough points to get him up to 500. So let's give him the max 500 points. And right now, it's looking like Bill Ray is going to commit to Michigan State pretty soon. So we might have a free 500 points to free up after uh, he commits because it doesn't look like he's going to come to Indiana. I mean, it, it was a long shot. We did start on his board first, but for some reason, Michigan State just took over. Even though we had the max amount of points on him, they just took over in recruiting. And maybe they have... Uh, their coach has certain uh, attributes to him, some certain skills that sway players to come to their school over others. Uh, let's just schedule this visit for Paul Stone. He does have a couple of weak spots that carrying is really is really going to make the difference for him playing. But now we have Devontae Williams, so he might be the game changer for us at running back. Devontae Williams has been showing up back-to-back 100-yard -back games for us. John James right behind him. Uh, nobody, no other change as well. Uh, we did actually uh, look at a quarterback here, Anthony Miller. He's decent. Um, I mean, he's 81 speed, 82 throw power, 74 throw accuracy. The thing is about Lego is that he just can't run the ball. I tried to run read option last game, and it worked out well, actually. It worked out well, but there were just times when he couldn't get to the edge. I couldn't really run around people. I couldn't really juke or anything. And that's the thing that limits him. I mean, to be honest, that's the only thing that really limits him. So let's just add a couple more prospects to the board. Let's hop into this gameplay, though. Uh, going up against Penn State. 
<laughs> what a big game for us. But let's just get into this, man. Let's go. Starting out this game with the ball, giving the ball to Devontae Williams, our star running back now. I, I think I can say that he's the star. I mean, obviously NCAA football thinks he's a star. They got the, him as the impact player on our offense. And they took Simi Cobbs off of the impact player. Uh, they put it on Harris. Harris is a pretty explosive receiver of mine. But here we can't hit him on that corner route. So Trace McSorley comes out on the next possession, giving the ball to Saquon Barkley. And that's going to be a huge hole for him to run through. And on the next play, another draw play, Saquon Barkley running over our safety there. So on a second and inches, getting the ball to Sanders. And Sanders just gets hit hard on that one. And Saquon Barkley getting to the outside. I missed the tackle allow him to get to the outside so now they're inside the 25 yard line another run by saquon barkley <laughs> another missed tackle by me so here we are one more time i man i don't that was that he kind of juked me on that one i didn't really miss the tackle he just juked me got in for the end zone so penn state goes up seven nothing on the road here and Lego rolls out to the right side. He had a wide open field. And that's one of the things that it's tough to play with him because getting to the outside, I mean, that was wide open field. And he just could not get there. But at least he's making accurate throws in this game. Finding Simi Cobbs on the curl route. This time finding Harris on the middle screen. Only goes for three yards. So on a play action read on third and seven, finding Harris over the middle. And I remember I made that mistake last game, a play action read. I kind of threw the ball normal. I had to throw that ball. I had to lead him down on that one. So giving the ball one more time to Devontae Harris up the middle on a third and 10. Lego is going to drop back to pass. I have a couple of options here, but nobody's open to get the first down. So I roll out left, throw the ball away, and have to settle for three points on that one. So Penn State, Trace McSorley gets the ball back. Finding his outside man there for a first down. Hamilton and Saquon Barkley getting stuffed on this one. And we just need to make sure to shut Saquon Barkley down. Make the other playmakers beat us because we know how great he is as a running back. I think he's 99 overall in this, in these, in this game as well. But here, Trace McSorley, like I said, force him to throw the pass. Uh, I mean, just take away the running game. Barkley is just a game changer on offense. So... We get the ball back on offense. Lego showing his inaccuracy once again on the out route. That was an easy throw. And here they are getting pressure. Nobody's getting open for them, for us. So they get the ball back. Penn State, that is. More shutting down Barkley. Remember, he had a pretty good second drive getting in for the touchdown. But this time, we're shutting that down. We're making Trace McSorley beat us from the pocket. But right when we had him on a third and inches just out of field goal range they get the ball there to Squam Barkley on the outside but on a draw play our end is making a nice little play there so McSorley throws the ball deep on the next play second and 12 finding Jawan Johnson and that one is just going to be a, a heartbreaker on that one because we had man coverage. We had everything covered on that one pretty well. They were running basic routes, and they still find a man over the top for the touchdown. So down 14-3, Lego has to make something happen. So we finding Simi Cobbs on the outside, giving the ball to Devontae Williams. On a second and seven with under two minutes left in this, in this half and taking a sack. He just can't. That's the thing. He he takes a lot of sacks because he can't get outside the pocket. And when he sits in the pocket, like I said, look at this. I mean, the pass rush is just getting to us. We can't do anything. So they get the ball back. Under 15 seconds left, they get the ball back. They throw a Hail Mary, but <laughs> that's almost caught. I mean, his receiver fell into the end zone. So if you would have caught that, I would have been pretty upset. So only down by 11 points, getting smacked there, getting the ball to Hale. But Devontae Williams, man, he's a beast, getting the nice 10-yard gain there. So why not run it again? This time another hole for another 14-yard rush. And Lego is going to drop back to pass, have a pretty clean pocket until the pass rush gets to us on that one. And in-man coverage, man, my guys cannot get open, I'm telling you. And once again, taking another sack. So Trace McSorley comes out finding his receiver in the flat there on a crossing route. So on a third and four, 
our defensive line is coming up big in the run game this game and that's a good sign because we have a lot of seniors on that line and honestly they got a ball out because next year it might not be a sweep for me on the d-line but we get the ball back we're in their territory now and Devontae williams gets the ball on a screen pass only goes for four yards but that's enough for the first down so on a first and ten there's our impact player our receiver harris taking over and on a curl route he he runs those routes pretty well but lego misses him on a wide open touchdown the slant so we had to settle for three points and who knows that might come back to bite us in this game but we do get the ball back luckily stopping their run game and getting the ball back early and once again finding semi cobs on the middle screen the middle screen really works for us if you spread the ball out the middle screen can work for you pretty well and harris on another curl route getting open versus their number one corner this time so on a third and eight who else ian thomas who started out the year as our impact player on offense he gets open for the out route there so now we're into the red zone and easy it's so easy Devonte williams finds the open hole gets in for the touchdown so we have to go for two here so we actually on this next play bring in ramsey for the read option because we know he can run the ball but penn state covers it so well they cover the running back cover the quarterback so just like that we're down two points so with four minutes left in this game they're gonna try to run the ball try to milk this clock with saquon barkley and they can't do gotcha, that bitch. because we get in for the sack so we forced the punt and with ramsey back in the game on these read option uh formations we give the ball to williams running the ball up to the 50 yard line and on a first and 10 lego's gonna find williams in the screen game get a good eight yards so we're almost in field goal range under two minutes left majette gets into the game and he gets across the 40 yard line so now it's a second and nine you see that pass rush getting in there Le lego cannot make that throw so on a third and nine once again what a great play by their cornerback there now uh, that's actually their linebacker so i actually attempt a very long field goal but look at this man one thing i don't like about ncla is that they don't tell you which way the wind's blowing so at this point do i use a timeout do i not it's a very very long field goal and I choose to not take the timeout because I figured if I miss this field goal, I have enough time to stop the clock, and I do miss it. So on the first carry, Saquon Barkley, second and one, gets a nine-yard game, but we stop him. So on a third and three, we take both timeouts. So we could get the ball back with about 40 seconds left, uh, and Saquon Barkley seals the game with that one. And just like that, a heartbreaker, a two-point conversion, missed uh, also a wide open slant in the end zone missed cost us that game and we lose a heartbreaker we almost pull off the upset of penn state lego he just limits the offense man we can't really scramble with him there's plays that break down and he just needs to get outside the pocket that happens from time to time and that's something that lego can't do so i'm thinking about making a quarterback change we'll see come next week hit subscribe hit that like button We'll be back for some more Big Ten play.